Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Oh, Jesus. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Oh, gee, my bad. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm still setting up. <laughs> I I was looking for a uh, a birthday gif for the birthday stream. Um. Just in case anybody was curious, it is my birthday. Or it was on Sunday. Not today. It's a belated one. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Do I have my, my gift from my daughter? Oh, it's over there. I'll get it later. She got me a pig. <clears throat> hey, Paisanos. 25% off Twitch Primes. 100% off Twitch Primes. They really went crazy on this one. <laughs> so Charles uh, Charles saw the emote, by the way. Hold on. He just, uh, he just replied. <laughs> he knows chat culture. He knows. <laughs> That's my goat, dude. I fucking love him. I love Charles. That's my fucking guy. He knows the correct response. When you can't... W Charles, bro. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I got back from LA. I have been up since 4 o'clock this morning because my uh, daughter did not want to sleep. And I'm, I'm a little loopy. But sometimes that makes for better streams because I'm I'm silly champing. Was she cat jumping? She was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was very much so. So tonight might be a silly champ stream. Guys, I'm not I'm not doing it, just so we all know. It is my birthday wish to not subula. <laughs> not tonight. Not when I'm fucking delirious. Okay? That is my wish. Is it actually your birthday or you're doing a bit? It was my birthday on Sunday. It was on Sunday. Thank you for the primes. My only wish, besides that, is that you drop a prime. Make sure that wasn't my egg. I ripped everything off so there'd be no addresses, and then I saw that and I got scared. I ripped so much shit off. My first birthday didn't count because uh, Off-Brand Studios got me a chocolate cake, and I hate chocolate cake. Can they do anything right? <laughs> it was tiramisu. It was actually very good. It was good. I actually did eat it. It was yummy. Thank you for the 10 gifties, Zanek. And thank you, everybody else, that dropped a Prime or a Tier 1. Or whatever you gave me. I appreciate it. Coney, did you get it? The Muppets to replace the Statler and Waldorf? Or did you only spend 600 I've only spent 600 Uh, Tonight, we're going to finish it. The last four hundo. Because I do owe you $400. So maybe we'll finish that tonight. Thank you, PGH Debit. Thank you. I assume that's Pittsburgh, right? That's what they said. Thank you for the gifties. Also vacuous. Thank you so much. Fellows. I appreciate it. Kony, did you think tiramisu was a Japanese thing when you were a kid also? I did. Oh, God! He's here! Big-ass gorilla has shown up! He's clearing out all the mods in chat! The mods don't stand a chance! Fake birthday? That's it. I'm it's not the fake. The night no, off. you can't give me gorilla the night tribe. off. Come on. Actually, hope your birthday was awesome. It was great. Happy birthday. It was great. I got to spend it in L.A. Uh, at the Ludwig event, which we're going to talk about briefly. Happy <laughs> Not he copped it too. Oh, no one is safe. This is the chat. He's beating the shit out of the chat. Tag yourself. I know some of y'all right here. Yup, I know some of y'all are Rhino. Some of y'all are Tommy Dreamer. Here's a fun gift for you. It's a tag team. Thank you, E Compton. 
Hold on, let me look at like let me look at the gift I got. Hold on. Dude, honestly, that Charles emote is a fine gift. Truly. That Charles emote is so funny. I I set up before the stream I I did took a picture with the um with the chat to show off all of the gifts that I received. And uh yeah, I, I saw that. I just love it to death. Charles posting is so funny to me every time. Did you catch that Nintendo stream at all? It was carried by Charles. No, because I was at the Ludwig thing. The Ludwig thing, we were busy, man. Uh, the couch only having five people meant that we didn't have many breaks, which I didn't care about. That was awesome. I had so much fun. Um, why are some of them off... Some of them aren't synced. <laughs> Most of them are synced, but Damien on Ultra Lamb have different ones. For so okay. You were on so many in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they only had five people, so we were kind of like swapping in and out. Uh, but we didn't swap that much, so. Thank God. I think it's broke. I think it's... I don't think it works. I don't think it works. I think it's broken. <laughs> I didn't turn it off, I swear. Damn. Shit's broken. Sorry. Thank you, YU. Dude, I I I thought Void was gonna win, but I also thought that was like the obvious thing, right? I thought that was too obvious. So I didn't want to like assume that. Um But then as soon as he got out of CS Go, I was like, oh, he fucking wins. <laughs> Thank you, Trist, eh? Trist? Probably just Trist. Uh, as soon as he won CSGO, I'm- Oh, this is fucking over. It actually is done. My heart wanted E-Rob to win. Dude, me too! <laughs> I mean, I- Obviously, I love Void, right? Void's one of my d d dear friends. Love that guy. But, it would've been very funny if E-Rob won. I played him in Tetris the night before. By the way, I'm back on a Tetris kick. I played so much te uh, Tetrio today. Um, my daughter fucking woke me up at 4 a.m. and then went back to sleep, and I couldn't sleep, so I played a shit ton of Tetris. Um, but, yeah, E-Rob and I played in Tetris, and he was like, what's your rank? I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? What do you mean rank? Let me dump on this variety streamer. And then he beat me fast. <laughs> I died in, like, 10 seconds. I was like, oh, oh. And then I realized he was a T-spinner, which I didn't know variety streamers knew how to do. That's like dark arcane technology, right? I thought he would never know how to do that. He's opener man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the opener man. So he he starts T-spinning. I'm like, all right, motherfucker. And then we started trading games back and forth. Um, are you a four wider? No, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, you leave one line open. Like they do on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I just do it the, the raw and natural way as God intended. That's how I play it. Yipes, Coney, and Sage Jam comms was the best. Dude, I had a lot of fun on that couch. I had a great time. It was awesome. Um, I It is in this streamer's humble opinion, and I said this before, that Yipes is the literal go. But I never really get to talk with him. I never had the chance to, like, I don't know, converse with him in that way. T-minus! Thank you for the 10 gifties. I've been, I should have said thank you to the other ones. Thank you, uh, Yossi Horse, for the gifties as well. Everybody for the gifties. Thank you so much. Um... But yeah, Yipes is uh, is great. And it was really cool to be able to talk with him. Because before Brawl came out, me and my friends would sit in uh, my friend's living room and listen to Marvel commentary highlights. Which was just Yipes saying curly mustache and um, Pringles and, you know, Scoops hagen Doss and shit. And it was the funniest shit I ever heard. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Fucking love him. So it was really cool to have the opportunity to talk with him a little bit. Because, you know, I, I would never be able to commentate with Sage Jam or uh, Yipes or Slime, for that matter. Or anybody. Not Ludwig, not anybody in that kind of capacity. So I was shocked that I was invited. But, of course, I am, I am truly honored and flattered for the opportunity. I had a great time. Seriously loved it. I, I, I had a phenomenal time. What's your Xbox bar name? Why did he have the Xbox bar on? He didn't even turn it down, dude. 
That was so weird. Why didn't he do that? <laughs> it just kept going. <laughs> yeah. Coney is competing in season two. Dude, I was thinking about that. I was like, how far do I, do I think I could get? And I think... Heaven will just tearing out the whole chat. Wow, really doing it big on the other guys. A hundred bucks. Thank you, Habitful. Thanks for the hundo. A casual no Habitful hundo. Only money for right as heat goes himself. off the air. Thank you so much. He's raising hell. He's stomping a mud hole in chat. Now, I actually think I could get to CSGO. And then I get fucking mopped. I would make it to CSGO. But I would get fucking obliterated. Like, it wouldn't be close or fun. Nobody would have a good time watching it. If I got one of the easy pulls for CSGO, like if I got really lucky, maybe i get out. But I, I doubt it, dude. I'm very bad at tactical shooters. How's your Rocket League gameplay? I have played the game for hours. <laughs> and that doesn't mean like a long amount of hours, but several hours, which is more than everybody else for the most part. So... Yeah, me on CSGO is not good. I, I don't know how to play tactical shooters. I have tried multiple times. If there's a Zekin that puts FPS pros in the same group, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can get them all in one pool and I get in the little baby pool, the little splash pad, you know what I'm saying? If I could get in that pool, then I might get out. That might work. Here we go. Straight up. Oh, it doesn't work. The TTS is busted. I don't know why. Thank you, Amalia. How do you feel about people potentially watching you while they shower? Also, happy birthday. Fine with me. I listen to content creators when I shower, too. I feel a little weird about it. I don't know why I can't just do anything without having a voice in the background. But, you know, just keep it clean, okay? <laughs> just, you know. I had a, uh, what video did I have on today? I forget, I had some video on, because I had to catch up on my media consumption. Because a lot of videos came out. Just fucking shower, you weirdos. Yeah, but I take a long shower, you know what I'm saying? I get extra clean, right? So, I don't know what the best way to go over this is, but I wanted to talk about the event as someone who was there. Maybe I'd just go on the Mogul Moves Twitter and just go up. Um... Oh, yeah, I gotta watch April O'Neil. I'll do that in a second. Day by day? Yeah, maybe. We'll go up. Thank you, DJ Hardwood, for the 10 gifties. I eat them up. <laughs> Tasty. So in case you guys did not know or were not aware for whatever reason, this past weekend, I was... Let me put this away. It's a little obnoxious. Well, it is giving me some gifts. Maybe not. This past weekend, I was at the world's greatest gamer event. Now, why was it not called World's Greatest Gamer? There was a reason for that, but I shan't tell you, for it is not my place. I will let someone else describe <laughs> if they wish. But the World's Greatest Event on YouTube Gaming. Uh, it was uh, presented by Ludwig. Unfortunately, Myth did not make it, which was shocking there was only one guy. And look at that GSM void in the chat. Do not give him any more gifts. It's my birthday. Everybody's going to jump over there and give him gifts because he won. Hold. He won $20,000. Let's just keep it in here, okay? He already hit 1K subs, all right? I think he's had enough. I'm broke. I play Smash Let's give it up to Void. We love Void. I I was positive Void won, but it felt too easy to say. But then he won CSGO, and I was like, oh, there's no shot. There's legit no chance he loses. And then he didn't. Because even if he lost to E-Rob and Tetris, which I didn't think he would, but I thought he might, because E-Rob has, like, cheesy T-spin strats, which are good, but, like, you can adapt to him quick. Um... Even if he lost there, it was double a limb. He was making it to the final. So. I thought Tens was going to shock the world until I watched him play Tetris. He He's not a Tetris guy, and he's not a Street Fighter. But he does love Street Fighter. And, and let me get this out of the way. These children love Street Fighter. Let me just tell you that. The kids are all right. The new generation was playing Street Fighter literally nonstop. 
They fucking love Street Fighter. Whether they're good, bad, in the middle. Super was very good, by the way. He's like plat four, I think, on, on modern Kami. But, like, I think if he plays more, he'll get higher. It's one of those things that, like, he deserves higher. He just needs to grind it out. He's very good. Um, but, yeah, everybody here was super cool, man. Got to talk with a bunch of people. Got to hang out. It was fun. Um, got Went out to a very nice, fancy Japanese steak place and got the... Not steak, it was beef, but it was, like, this fancy Japanese meat. Had some sake, and I don't drink, so that was weird. Um, all kinds of stuff. It was a good time. Did you and Small Ant squash the beef? Wait, did we have a beef? Did we have a play beef? <laughs> did we have a, f a fake beef? Super TF was hilarious. Earned himself a fan during the event. Yeah, he was a really funny guy. He was awesome. I was a big fan. I I, I, I talked to them a little bit. Hey, how's it going? I'm Kony. He's like, oh, I know you are. I watched Smash. I was like, damn, dude. These kids really be liking Smash. Talked with him a little bit about Overwatch, his background, and shit like that. He's a really cool guy. Uh, but no, Small Ant Rules. Loved meeting him in person. Um, I'm surprised Jerax tried so hard. Dude, me too. <laughs> he was practicing for so long. So, in case you guys don't know, Jerax here. Let's go down the list. Asu, I believe, is a Valorant guy. Or, no, he's a shooter guy, right? Valorant? Apex? He's a shooter guy. Valorant, right? It's Valorant. There's a lot of guys here. Apex? Oh, he's Apex. Okay. I get the Valorant guys mixed up. It's him and Tens. Tens was the Valorant guy. Apex, gotcha. Yeah. CS, Apex, Val. Okay, well, he plays the the shooting games. Box, box is TFT. However, I played against Box, box in a Virginia League of Legends tournament a very long time ago. He shit on my team. By the way, ads are popping right now. I can't save you. Unfortunately, I don't skip the first ad. You won't get ads if you subscribe uh, tier one or prime right now. Sorry about the ads. Yeah, he showed up at a at a League of Legends tournament, and he had like a crowd behind him. This is when he was playing Riven, and he was probably like 16, and he shit on my fucking team. We got second place because of him. I played mid lane, and I was like, guys, camp him. And my jungle was like, no, they're going to be expecting that. And then he shit on my top lane friend. So we got second. Annoying ass. I told him that story. I was like, do you remember that? He said, no, I remember a tournament, but I don't remember playing you. And I was like, yeah, you wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> Just another day. Just another fucking day for this guy. Happy birthday, Konezi. As president, declare, uh, I decided to send you a whopping $10 in celebration. Oh, right, I forgot to mention happy birthday. Oh, Joe. <laughs> uh, Joe needs some fish oil or something for the old noggin. Poor guy. Fix TTS now? Guys, I can't fix it. That shit is on the monster end. I think it's just broken. I can't fix it. It's not my site. What do you want? Relax. Get his ass some fatty acids and omega-3s. I've been saying that. He expects to run again without any fatty acids? I can't. Uh... Clayster is a COG guy who was very good, actually. Extremely talented. Um, he came in kind of cocky, apparently. Uh, but he was cool as shit. Hold on, let me try to refresh the thing. Hold on. So I can refresh the browser cache? Hold on, refresh when scene becomes active. Okay. Now, all we have to do is donate another... <laughs> All we have to do is donate another uh, five dollars, and we're in business. Actually, hold on. No, no, no. I can't. Let me try again. Oh, there it is. Testing. Hurgle, gurgle, fergle, carcles, fast, and tall. Were you fast, farly, or you? Oh, you just messed up the vomit. You did uppercase vomit, not lowercase. I think that was the problem there. Oh. Uh, I realized how long this is going to take to go through everybody, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Everybody was really cool! I got to meet Connor in real life, which was very nice. Um, and I got to meet people I've only seen online for a long time, like Small Ant, which was great. Uh, I have Void winning, but that felt very Smash-brained. I was like, I, I felt like that was such a Smasher thing to be like, oh yeah, Void's going to win. And I feel like that's kind of cringe and like, you know, not respect not respecting the rest of their talents. But holy shit, no, he's just better than everybody, so okay. <laughs> All right, sure, right? 
cringe. That's what I'm saying. I was like, Boyd probably wins this, but I probably only think that because I've seen him win in my small little bubble, right? In the Smash world. But actually, he's just better than people. Um, yeah, so it was really fun. Apparently, Zekin, by the way, is top 100 in Tetris. Zekin had a good shot of winning if he didn't play Void. Void picked his ass uh, in Street Fighter, and he got dropped. So, Connor's Fortnite skin was fucking insane. I didn't know you could have OJ Simpson. Why can you do that in Fortnite? Yeah. You can't? Is it just a, is it a, what, a, bu a bull or a bear? I don't know. The juice is loose. <laughs> All I know is I'm not engaging with that guy if I see him. You got it, dude. Yeah, hold on. Does anybody have the VOD? Can somebody link me the VOD so I can show you? <laughs> Connor eats pants on OJ Simpson. Did you guys let him do that shit? I didn't let him do shit. It's not my tournament. Oh, the juice is loose. Hold on. I didn't get to cast Fortnite, which I was sad about, but I got to cast a bunch of other fun stuff. Hold on, let me see. Rizzo on Ninja, Small Ant on Default, love that. Yup. By the way, somebody came into the game on what- Oh, there he is. Connor won this game. Hold on. <laughs> yep, there he is. On the Buffalo Bills. No way it says- Does it say OJ on the back? I'm trying to read it. What does it say? Oh, it's just the Bills logo. Never mind. That's OJ. No, that's OJ. The juice is loose. <laughs> Watch out. And he has a gun this time. That's way more dangerous. He has the knife. <laughs> okay, that's a little distasteful. I don't think he should have that. <laughs> that's a the Connor. <laughs> That's the full set. Oh my god. <laughs> he gets a set bonus? Oh man, was one not enough? Killing spree. Oh, that's funny. He's standing on the white Bronco. <laughs> Bro is insatiable. Uh, yeah, I did not get to cast Fortnite, which I was a little sad about, but I did get to cast Fall Guys, which was tremendous, by the way. Fall Guys still holds my heart. Minecraft, I got to cast. I know nothing about this game, but thankfully, I think Ludwig did a great job of picking stuff that was not inscrutable to the human eye. When I watch a Minecraft speedrun, it may as well be in a different language on, from an alien planet. I have no idea what's happening. Ender Dragon, this, uh, the, the crafting table, that, I don't know what they're doing. They're creating portals and shit. This was just Roblox. It's just Roblox challenges, and I loved that. So Minecraft was great. Fortnite was just small games. But one of the things that I did, I, I was just mentioning before I was so rudely interrupted by OJ Simpson, uh, Small Ant had a stalker. <laughs> he had somebody snipe this lobby. Only to kill him. I don't think they ever showed up on stream. And I don't know if it ever got talked about. But there was a guy named Smant is him. I'm trying to find Small Ant's perspective. Because they didn't catch him. But somebody found the lobby code. Got in and killed only Small Ant. And then left. Here we go. That really happened. I thought that was him. No. I also woke up at four in the morning because the humidity <laughs> oh, is almost 40 Celsius. Oh, you must over be from Europe. I heard Fahrenheit, about that French tournament. And I don't have an air conditioner, a university, mm -hmm. and I think I'm melting into a puddle of above. Of. A of Dude, I think vomit's broken. Oh. Vomit's down. Thank God. I didn't turn it off. I think maybe they filed a formal complaint and they turned off vomit. I didn't do it. I swear to God. Thank you, Kelk. Thank you, my friend. Five months of silly time. So true. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, Small Ant uh, got stream sniped and it never got caught on video. <laughs> but I was watching him and he was, like, annoyed. Um, 
Oh yeah, also, Mango ate the hot chip, which he should not have done. <laughs> There's a hot chip challenge, in case you guys didn't know. I don't, I think it might have, was it in Minecraft or was it in Fortnite? I don't remember. Um, but they had to eat a hot chip. It was in Minecraft? Minecraft is actually super simple. All you have to do is... Uh, actually, I will explain later. I have uh -huh. become very tired. They, okay. <laughs> Stop. So the, the tired TTS is the new vomit, I guess. Yeah, they actually hurgle gurgled. This will hurgle gurgle your tummy. Sonic Fox wasn't going to do it, but they uh, decided to ASMR later after... Two? Be, I guess ASMR doesn't work either, yeah. Yeah, it, it, so Mango here eats the chip. Fitting music. Puts on gloves to eat the chip, which is just fucked up, right? That portends a dangerous omen. Do not put on the gloves to eat the chip. Throw the chip away. Yeah, he eats the chip, and he has to poop immediately. And I think he goes and throws up. Then Sonic Fox is like, oh, I'll eat the chip. Then they go and throw up immediately. They missed a couple rounds of gameplay because of that. Um, and we were talking, and we're pretty sure the hot chip was the worst thing you could do. So the options were uh, hot chip challenge during Minecraft, stand on a balance ball in Fortnite, and they had standing desks, and, and Small Ant and... I think Loser Fruit were doing that. Uh, maybe Jaden. I think Jaden was doing it. That was one of them. Um, which seemed very easy, by the way. It, it did not seem that hard. And then in Fall Guys, or not Fall Guys, in Trackmania, it was wearing these uh, very silly glasses. Hurkle gurgle. No. It, it doesn't work. It's just not the same as it used to be. What's the point of going on with no vomit? Don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, he shot some. He shot a bird to feel something again. He shot a bird. He killed a, a helpless animal so he could feel something. That's all that was. It was homicide. It was homicide. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, they had to wear these glasses, which I think might be marketed as like drunk driving glasses, but they didn't want to say that. Obviously. Um. Relevant to today's discussion of the day, in case you guys. <laughs> It's not not a not a discussion for here, but um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. These were impossible. These were bad. But the problem is the hot chip is an all day debuff. Once you eat hot chip, you are out all day because it has to go all the way down. You're just poison taking toxic damage. Um. So anyway, these were fun. And then they had to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, and then Rocket League, which, let me keep it $100 with you, chat. Uh, these were not fun. <laughs> I love the idea, right? It's a great idea. But these, these games were tough. I think the thing about this format, and I cannot sing Ludwig's praises enough to put this on, because it's one of those things that, like, you have the idea, but putting it together logistically is nigh impossible, right? It is so hard to do. To put together all these games in a format that makes sense and blah, blah, blah. And I think one game, at least one game, had to be the sleeper. And I think it was this one, unfortunately. Um, and it's not anybody's fault. It just, it, it's sort of how it came out. Uh, so that was Rocket League. Um... And that decided a limbs, and I think we wrapped up for the day. Even team-based Rocket League at novice level would be fun. Maybe, if it's like 2v2, I don't know. I mean, like, the, the thing is, the main thing about these events is that the first time, you just do it. Give it a shot. Try it out. And then, um, you know, you could sort of refine and figure it out later, so. Um... Rizzo was very funny, by the way. Rizzo is a Rocket League pro, this guy, and we were having fun on the couch. He's a funny guy. I like him. He's good. Um, <laughs> we were doing a demo bit. Yeah, yeah, that was a good time. Rizzo's cool as shit. Yeah, he's a good guy. I love this event because it, it really shows off the players' personalities in the same way that Summit used to, where people... Um, 
I don't know. People uh, are able to be on the couch and like show themselves off a little bit more, right? It was great. Super was great on camp. Small Ant was very funny in his very dry way. I feel inspired to get good at games after this event. Actually, I will just rest tonight. That was fast. Was mostly just Change genders teammates. and everything. Tomorrow will be better. Yeah, I must have had a really bad game. Oh, dude, I've never had a game that bad. <laughs> Knocked me the fuck out. Um, yeah, Yipes was great, too. Yipes is very fun. So that was day one. Who's got a VOD for day two? I guess I could do it like this, right? Is it live? I never had to find, know how to find this shit. Yeah, day two. Started off with X Defiant, which I didn't know is a multiverse game. Did you guys know that? So X Defiant, uh, they, they like, they, they, I think they, they had their game there. It's not out yet. Um, I actually love the look of it. And unironically, I want to try this because I like this running gun style. I never played Cobb before. If it's free to play, I don't know if it's free to play, but there's a lot of little UI things like, hold on. There's this thing that I really liked. Hold on. I'm waiting for Mango to die, but he won't die. There you go. I like that. I know it's such a small thing, but being able to customize that is cool to me. I think there's a lot of really cool things in there. You can also emote at somebody after you die. <laughs> so you could just be sad when you die. I think there's a lot of really funny things here and cool ideas. Apparently, like, Watch Dogs is in the game, and uh, uh, Assassin's Creed is in the game somehow. I don't know how. Maybe I'm leaking. Uh, I don't know, but those things might be true. Yeah, Ubisoft Multiverse. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how it works. Maybe just an item or something, but... Far Cry was pretty buff in the beta. Yeah, is Far Cry in the game? Okay, well then I'm not leaking. There. Yeah, unfortunately, the team imbalance was a little off. They tried to fix it. So they were talking about changing the format the night before. Uh, not just for this, but also swapping CSGO and Street Fighter. Because they wanted more people to play Street Fighter. And two shooting games in a row, X Defiant into CSGO, for some players, seemed kind of shitty. But they didn't want to change the format of the event um, the night before. Because that sucks. Oh, I just realized this is a song with vocals. No, I'm skipping that. Sorry, chat. Um, it's going to ruin my train of thought. But they didn't want to change it because, like, there's real money on the line. If it's, like, a for fun tournament or whatever, whatever, right? Um, like, if it was my tournament, my, my mystery tournament that I did at SmashCon, hell yeah, I would have changed that shit immediately. Because, like, yeah, it's for money, but more than anything, it's for funsies. Uh, but he had all these guys travel, and there's a lot of money on the line, so they kept it for him. Um, so the X Defiant teams were a little fucked up, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. This was honestly one of my favorite parts. I loved this, and not because I'm old, but because watching not old gamers play Atari is hilarious. Watching them play Breakout was phenomenal. And little did E-Rob know these skills would come in handy later. Well, they didn't for him. He got 3-0'd very quickly. But they would have, theoretically. <laughs> Serious people. This game is hard, by the way. This game is actually extremely difficult. Way harder than you would think. The platform is so small, and it gets smaller if you hit the back wall, so... So, I, you know, up until this point, I'm kind of playing armchair uh, coach in my head. And I'm like, how far could I get, right? Thank you, Cosmic Pigeon, for the five gifties. I'm thinking, how far could I get in the tournament? And I think I could make it up to here. And then, this is where, <laughs> for me, things would go pretty bad, I think. This would have been pretty bad. Oh, by the way, Connor had on... I didn't know that in CSGO... You could have a custom sound when you kill somebody? Is that normal? 
you and Minecraft don't go well together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could, if I don't do well in Minecraft, but I think I could, win, I could do okay in Minecraft. Like I don't need to win. I can go mid in, I could go middle in Fortnite, mid to low in Fortnite, high in Fall Guys if I practice, and then what was the fourth game? Trackmania. Oh shit. Yeah, Trackmania would be bad. <laughs> but I'd be in Rocket League of Limbs, and I would be, I would get out of there. I would get out of Rocket League of Limbs straight up. So, uh, let me see if this will work. Hey, yeah, Rizzo's being this is the, uh, <laughs> this is what happens when Connor gets a kill. Oh, cheeky, I like it. Oh, oh. Yeah? Jaden being a breakout seventh was so hype. Yeah, she was very also, good. Also, I'm not European. <laughs> I'm a fucking we... leaf. And Kingston, Ontario is a hellish sauna. Thanks, Why is Americans everybody tiring the tonight? Too. There's so many tired TTSs. It's the new vomit. Prediction right, doesn't on. get the shot. Does not Ooh, I the love same the crosshair placement. Not really right line up. Hit to not repeat the angle. By the way, the, I I brought nothing to the couch during this section. I have no idea what the fuck this game is. This makes no sense to me. Oh, smart and yeah. also. Oh, could be his first W. He's He'd love default. to. Have... Hold on. Okay, it had to be earlier because it's four four Just here. Too good. You know what I mean? Like, how can you win after that? It's got a snowballing in. Yeah. yeah. Round count matters. Happy by the way. forty-eight so birthday, content man. Oh, Thank you, Kronk. I'm busy. Hold on. Oh, it has to be this one. Hold on. The M4, unless you like know no, the spray no. pattern, which is a little tighter, but I don't think we're getting oh, there. Wow. Never mind. He won the first round. He did. This is the Huge. default crosshair. I just heard. Oh, oh. I just heard. Uh, oh, this is good. Slime my crosshair is disgusting. <laughs> I'm, you know, sorry about that. He bald. I didn't Call him mean bald. that. Fix it oh. now. Oh. Bald. Oh. Connor gets it. That's still very funny. That's still very funny. Oh. Oh. Head tap. So every round Ooh, he wins, shot. he's going to hear that. Oh, my God. Every round. You can do that in CSGO? You're able to do that? I want to play the game now. I didn't know you could do that. That's amazing. Somebody else had the Halo shit. That rules. There are music kits you could buy. I would spend an obscene amount of money on that. Does everybody here? I guess it's only you. I love that shit. That's very funny. Um, is this where Connor went out? I think this might have been where Connor went out, unfortunately. Yeah, he got he got knocked out here. My goat, just like me. We're twinsies. He got in a hard group, too. Well, I guess not that hard. Rizzo's a Rocket League guy. Boxbox is like strategy. But Boxbox is like baby void. Boxbox is also very good at every game. Just not as Jimmy, very please. good at every game. We are all so tired of these claims. I could, I could, could win games. games. When we all no, know I could. Can you not? I definitely could. You don't even play them anymore. Depressed. I'm very good at Tetris. I played a lot of Tetris. Just to be clear, I played a lot of Tetris today. I'm top twenty thousand in Tetris today, in the world. Just to be clear, and and yes, you're right. Connor did do good in CS:GO. He did do well. Uh. He just lost though too, but he he it was like competitive in both sets. So proof, I'll bring it up later. I'll show you. All right, you would get washed by E Rob on Tetris. I literally didn't. I beat his ass again and again and again, and we went back and forth. Then he beat me, but I beat him a lot. I beat the shit out of Void in Tetris too. He was ducking me, bro. I'll mob him in Tetris. Not in Rocket League or Lego Drive 2K or Street Fighter or Nickelodeon or Multiverses or... But I would beat him in Tetris. At least half the time. Yeah, Zekin was a little chaos gremlin. Yeah. So, uh, CSGO happens and... Oh, God. How long is the internet out? So, apparently, during this, one of the players... May or may not, and for some reason, I don't know why CSGO is like this, but it shows the IP. One of the players may or may not have uh, <laughs> shown the IP in the console on their stream. And a very funny viewer thought it would be quite silly to DDoS us for an hour and a half. Would you beat Void in League of Legends? Maybe. 
If we had a mid lane, if we had a mid lane 1v1, maybe. I doubt it. But he, no, 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 no. He's a jungler. He's a jungler. He played mid lane to diamond, I think. I might beat him in a mid 1v1. Depends on who we pick. <laughs> I don't even know how you do mid 1v1s. Without a jungler, that sounds shitty. A mid off, yeah. You are not killing shit with TF. I would play Graves. Or Renekton. Weren't you silver? No! <laughs> I've never been silver in my fucking life. In any game, except Valorant. I was bronze in Valorant. <laughs> but I learned very, very slowly, actually. I was not I'm not good at tactical shooters. I can't play tactical shooters. I'm sorry to, to divulge, di diverge like this. I can't play tactical shooters because I'll hold a line. I'll be like, all right, shoot this guy when I see a head. I'm going to see a head, and then I pull the trigger. That's all I have to do is click when I see a head. But if I don't see a head, what if he goes the other way? Then I'm not going to see the head. Maybe I should turn around and go the other way, but I think he might come this way. I don't know which way he's going to, and then I get shot in the head. I can't turn brain off. I can't turn my brain off. So I could play Apex. I'm not good at it, but I could play Apex. I could play other shooters. I can't play tactical shooters. Straight up. So anyway, yeah, this was uh, a DDoS for several hours, and apparently they found a way to make it work. I felt so bad for Ludwig, because Ludwig is sitting here on the couch, you know, all these uh, YouTube dollars coming in. He's just checking his phone, trying to figure out how to fix it. I think there was a production Discord, and everybody's trying to do it. Look at everybody copying my leg pose. <laughs> my influence, right? Ludwig doesn't quite have it. He's a little bit off. I'll have to teach him how to do it later. Everybody just copying me, bro. Um, yeah, but it, it, it we were DDoS for a couple hours, and, and I'm sure Love was stressed out of his fucking mind. They were going to uh, make a call just to do it offline. Cock shame pose? <laughs> That's funny. Um... Yeah, they thought they were just going to have to do it offline and not leak. And I Void's match with Asu apparently did, like, it got recorded, but people didn't get to see it live. Uh, but just to set the scene, is it on here? All right, well, I'll let you watch it on your own. So Asu, Void, and Clayster was one group. Asu is uh, just kind of a shooter guy overall, plays a lot of shooter games. Um... Clayster is a Call of Duty guy who is also very talented at this out of nowhere. Clayster, uh, I think, played Void first and uh, beat him. And then Clayster beat Asu, which nobody expected because Clayster is like Call of Duty and Counter Strike are not the same, right? Very different games. Um, so everybody thought Asu was just going to kill Void. Thought that'd be the end. Void Asu is here. Hold on. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Hard to stay alive. Oh, to Hold on. So I don't want to watch the whole thing. Thanks. Again, I was so useless on this couch, dude. I forgot this knocked Asu out of the tournament. We missed it. Three up. Top. He does go down a bag. I think it went to the last game, right? It's tap. My. Five five. Six five. Okay, no, he did it here. He spots him. Swings. He's expecting him to peek there again. Asu is a former Counter-Strike pro? Really? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, look at that. Just click right now, Void. Click right now. Didn't get the head, but he still got the kill. This is a huge W for Void. If Void loses here, think about how different the rest of the tournament would be, right? Because Void practiced every game. Um... Maybe Zekin sweeps. If Zekin can sneak past the Street Fighter round and go into a coin flip with somebody that doesn't play the game, Zekin wins. Maybe Erob does. Well, who's better at Pong? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, but as soon as Void won this, he won the tournament. Straight up. No question. So they played the rest to see us go. Then, I gotta be honest, this was the game I watched Void practice the most? which is Lego 2K Drive, and they told us not to curse during this part. They said to keep it PG-13 for the kids. Um, but when you kill somebody in this game, as Slime and I noted, very quick, very early on, it says, uh, bricked? <laughs> Hold on. I'm losing a 10. 
<laughs> we were like, okay, we gotta dial that back. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Hold on. It was. You just jump in the water and it automatically turns into a boat. That's what I like to see. Rick. So to be clear, what you are watching right now. Me and Slime are like looking at each other here. Four people in our competition. I know there are eight people in the lobby. <laughs> Very funny. Same, bro. Me too. Me too. But only four of them are humans. Uh, so you're telling me that was funny. Bricked is very funny. And then we stopped doing that because this is a kid game for the kids. It's a, it's a, come on, relax, right? I loved the character names, by the way. The Doctor, Fastro, and Salus Down, whatever. Slime had a very funny bit, which we didn't get to talk about more, which is like. Dr. Fastra wins the tournament, or wins the race, and then in walks in a giant Lego man. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Something you can't really expound, expound upon, you know, during the tournament. But Professor Fusion. Yeah. Lego was very fun. Good time. Um, Alfred said he wouldn't raid you even though it's your birthday. Why? Oh, he might be upset with me because I, I feel bad. No, because I told Alfred I wanted to hang out on Sunday. Because I was like, hey, do you want to hang out after I'm done here? He's like, yeah. And I said, all right, I'll give you a call. And I wrote something in Discord like, hey, I'm just going to stay in my room tonight because I was really tired. And I didn't send it. I had it typed out, but I didn't send it. And then at like 1 a.m., he messaged me. And he was like, so I guess you're not coming, huh? I felt really bad. So I get it. I understand. It was my fault. It was my fault. I felt bad. Yeah. I was a jerk. So I get it. No rave for me. But we did talk about Rat Race. And maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Because we said maybe tomorrow. I wish he did rave me. I have a bounty to do. Why does he never rave me when I have a bounty? I have to tell you guys about El Pollo Loco. Not a joke. For eight minutes. I hate Coney so bad. I felt really bad. Jesus, I want you to know your name came up during Fall Guys. I said that I was a former world champion with my esteemed team, which is true. Wait, did I say your names? Oh, maybe I didn't say your names, actually. Never mind. But I did say that I was a champion with a team, and you were on that team. So. Let's do what you got to do, man. I understand. <laughs> Lied again. Yeah, I, I realized I was like, I don't, I don't know if I said names or not, because it was, uh, it was on a four-person couch. I didn't want to take up too much time. Oh, there's the game bar sound, dude. Hold on. Does anybody have a clip or I, maybe I could just find it here? So E Rob was being tortured the entire weekend, and I'm sure he's leaning into it and he didn't turn it off because you know it's funny and chat will keep doing it and being engaged. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so the entire weekend. D d keep in mind, E Rob, I watched it. You 100% did not shout at your teammates. That That's on me. My bad. My bad. Hey, but we were world champs, right? They can't ever take that away, right? Uh, E Rob had this going. He was in the corner, right? Imagine him in the corner of the room in the back right cubicle, right? He's over there, and he just hears this all weekend. The casters think this is funny. Bro is getting notified. Can you just play with that guy? Accept the invite. Just accept the invite, dude. Can you just play with that guy? Just get on Uno. The casters think this is fun. He got that, he got uh, Steam, he got Ubisoft, he got literally everything, and he never turned it off. He was in that corner not just during the tournament, but also he didn't go out to dinner, he didn't hang out with anybody, he only grinded and practiced, which meant he heard that nonstop all day, every day. And he never turned it off. It was ridiculous. But it worked. It paid off, right? It worked out. So that was Lego 2K Drive. Then they played Street Fighter. 
And this was uh, Hydrogen Bomb versus Coughing Baby. Hold on. Right. It's yeah. tough because when she... His character. So let me set the scene for you, right? So Void and Zekin are probably the, the two favorites in this tournament, okay? Uh, Void, obviously, uh, master at, at a lot of games, plays pretty much everything left in the tournament at a high level. Zekin, however, might be even better. Zekin is apparently top 100 in, uh, in Tetris. I did not validate that claim, but I've heard he's pretty good. Um, is very good at every single game on the list, except Street Fighter, which he does not play. And Void practiced the hell out of LEGO because whoever was top in LEGO got to pick their opponent first. So Void aims his rifle squarely at Zekin and kills him. Uh, he, he's compromised to a permanent end <laughs> very quickly. Just to beat it, it's to just do it. He back. tried to drive impact a few times. He just puts it. By the way, me too, bro. Twinsies. This is me against Kimberly too. I just get what fucking wall splat, and I'm just in the corner. I EX, wake up, I guess. That's the one thing I can do. Help. Yes. Jab, jab. No, don't put me in the corner, demon. I'm getting Blair witched by Kimberly. No. Let me out. No, not again. Not again. Let me out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so Zekin got fucked up in this game. Which, again, is probably the only game he might have lost in to the only player he would have lost to, right? He might have been able to beat the other guys, but just goes to show you how much preparation will help. Jerax, who is apparently a multi-millionaire player, a Dota 2 pro, former Dota 2 pro, knows how to play E-Honda at a competent level? What the fuck? Watch this. Does he do it here? He did a level. Th he popped his ult. He did the level three combo. Now he is on modern. He's just holding R two. I think <laughs> that's probably an auto combo. It's a modern combo. However, I will say nobody else did it. Nobody else was doing that. So even if that's true. Nobody else did that one time. So modern, hey, you could say it's modern, but I ain't seen nobody else pull that shit off. So straight up, just to make it clear. The go to Vombo yes, auto combo, whatever, we hype it up. And again, I, I was uh, delighted to see that everybody was most excited for this game. Literally, everybody was playing this all weekend. When they weren't playing or practicing or whatever, they were doing this. Street Fighter specifically. Even if it didn't, like, if they were out of the tournament. Th they love Street Fighter. Um, which is awesome. Now, is it because it's the newest game? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I don't think so. Because a lot of those games were new to them, right? But, yeah, Street Fighter was great. Very fun to watch. Uh, I think Sejam made a, a good point, which is, like, fighting games are fun at any level if they are on the same level. I really hate casting Smash Pools when it's, like, Leo against, you know, number eight in uh, Cleveland. Because I don't, it's not, the number eight in Cleveland, is not, his ass is not winning. He's not even touching him. Nothing's happening, right? But if it's number eight in Cleveland versus number 12 in Cincinnati, sign me the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's different. If I could see like a regional rivalry or something like mid-level or even low-level, that's great. Love that. Seriously. And we got to see a lot of that. Um, and, and Street Fighter's great. I love it. And then Tetris came. And so Tetris was seated randomly, right? And, uh, by the way, I didn't know this until this for some reason. Apparently, Tetris Effect is a, um, crossplay-enabled, worldwide, MMR-based Tetris game. I didn't know that. Why didn't I know that? I would have played it more. 
I didn't. I did not. I really wish I knew that when it was um, a little bit more popular. However, I regret to inform you. Dead game. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, some anime fighters would kill for these numbers. It does have crossplay. Yeah, I played because uh, my flight was at five a.m. I played this on my. Um, Revive it, Coney. Unironically, un and, and this is not a joke, I, st I, was, I was brainstorming. I was like, you know how chess had a moment? Is there a world where I could help push Tetris in some capacity? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think Tetris is as exciting to watch as chess. Because in chess, you watch it and you're like, hmm, what would I do? Ah, excellent gambit. Right, I think it's like you 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 have a an opportunity to put yourself in the shoes. I think Tetris you can't do that because it's so fast and and it's kind of impossible to know with the human eye. It's a lot of fun to watch as a spectacle. Like it's great to watch it <laughs> revive Ultimate first. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm a doctor. I'm not God. Okay, I can't help you there. Um. I don't think Tetris can can have that. Tetris has a chance for a boom because a lot of people haven't seen good Tetris play. I think Tetris at its high level, though, is like a, huh, that's neat. It's like a carnival sideshow. It's not something with long-term legs. I think that's why a lot of people tune into the World Championships. But, like, I, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Right? Um, I think it's too fast for the average person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it might be fun as like a small gimmick. I don't know. There might be something like a fun event, but I don't know. Tetris is too solved for high level play. There's that too. Yeah, I I don't know. Like you, as opposed to chess, which you know has been iterated on for thousands of years. Tetris is is confined by the rules that are programmed within, right? And whether you're playing battle mode or non battle mode or whatever, it's like locked in. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Tetris needs to add a new block. You would need more. You'd need to be longer. They have every DLC. I'm not paying for a new block. I'd be mad as hell. <laughs> Imagine you're playing Tetris and somebody drops the, the four tall and it spans the whole thing. It's like four tall and ten wide. Just drops a free Tetris. A one by one? <laughs> Is that good? I guess so. Drops a triangle? I don't know if a one-by-one one would be good, would it? Sounds situational. Yeah, I don't think I'd want a one-by-one. One. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on a big Tetris kick now. I've been playing Tetrio, Tet.io, I think, um, a lot, so... Uh, anyway, Tetris Effect happened, and I played the... Anyway, what I was saying is, my flight was at 5 a.m., and I was playing this on my Steam Deck... And my ass is playing people in Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, Japan. Like, we, we truly are connected. We really are. And I watched a lot of them in Tetris. A lot of them. Um, and I, they don't even have an excuse because it's daytime where they are. They're out beating breakfast. Go to deck game. Yeah, it's great. I love Tetris Effect. Anyway, I love Tetris. I, I was thinking, is there a way to, like, turn it into a thing? I don't think so, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a better creator than me can do it. Oh, so listen to what Ludwig says here. He's like just about to win and he's trying to send out everything. And I watch a good amount of your off streams. If he's like just about to win and he's trying to send out everything he has, he goes, die, die, die. And he'll just... <laughs> oh my God, he did that. He... So that's true. And I can tell you, because if I lived for longer than 45 seconds against E Rob, he'd be like, wow, why aren't you dead? How are you still alive? Why aren't you? Why didn't you die? Why aren't you dying? <laughs> Which was very funny. It was a good time. Uh, so yeah, this was a fun thing to watch. Void gets uh, cheesed by opener man, T-Spin God. By the way, apparently E-Rob, and this is kind of neat, E-Rob learned to play Tetris for this competition, and he learned this specific... He, the, like, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. E-Rob learned Tetris specifically to kill people. 
A lot of people play Tetris like me, and I have to turn on battle mode in my brain. I have to like turn it on in my brain, and I'm like, oh, I I I ha I'm playing battle mode, and I have to drop junk. I'm not like playing to build Tetris. I can't slow down. I have to play for real. And that happened to me a few times. He only knows how to fight. He wants to kill. Right? But that's all he wants to... He doesn't want to play the game normally. Please just die. It's been so long. I have been waiting <laughs> so face. long for you to die. <laughs> Not many people immediately go, I'm an opener main, so Irab is genuinely fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He apparently got trained specifically how to kill people in this game. Yeah, you're yeah. good. So, good. he kills yeah, Void a few so times, and he wins that game, yeah. and then Void eventually wins, and then two people who aren't it's as good at Tetris move, play. checkmate tag beat. Yeah, 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 he has to win fast. Yes. Thank you, Skiff, for the five gifties. Thank you, my friend. I'll eat him up. <laughs> Thank you. EVA or whatever. Yep. Uh, and then two people who are not as good at Tetris sat down. And this is no shot at either of them. Obviously, both, uh, d like, d worldwide talents... Um, amazing, goaded at their at their games. This guy's a multi-millionaire. Tens, I imagine, is is probably up there too. Uh, not good at Tetris. Not as good at Tetris. And then the final game, which, by the way, <laughs> he's standing here like this. He's like he's at a, a a talent show. I love this. He's about to perform. Who let the dogs out? Hello, 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 everybody. Audience members, competitors, welcome back to YouTube Presents World's Greatest Gamer. We started with 19 of the best gamers in the world. This unironically went hard. Yes. Evo Champions, it was great. World Champions. We're down to two. One of the best Super Smash Brothers players in the world, and e Rob, who are going to go head-to-head -head in our final mystery game, a game that I haven't told anyone, and the competitors have been whining and complaining. By the way, th one, this is true. He didn't tell anybody. Two, he was very clearly doing a bit on stream where he would fake leak over and over. It's a shame the Why this guy again? Licensed. Why is Shadow a stream character again? Have gone crazy. Happy birthday, by the he way. He really doesn't know how to say crazy. Shadow doesn't know how to say crazy. That's funny. Thank you, Shadow. I appreciate Here we it. Go. Yeah? Honey, why didn't you mention Tafos Kells? They didn't look that crazy to me. Am I stupid? Oh, never mind. Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> hold on. How many pixels wide are these? No way. You don't think so? This one? Not close? Are you sure? I'm bringing this shit up in Photoshop right now. Okay. Okay. Let me get the widest part. I'm going to get the biggest piece. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. How do I... Is there a way to see how many pixels this is? Okay, here we go. So you can see it down here, right? This is the widest part of the calf. That is 86 pixels, right? Can we agree? 86 to 87, right? Can we agree? 86 to 87 pixels. It's down there. It's down at the bottom. All right. Cody's calf is, at the widest part, 90. So, Coney, you're at an angle. Fat! <laughs> Coney, you're at an angle. You have to compensate. Give me a five-pixel difference. A five-pixel margin of error. <laughs> Maybe a little fat. Tafu's looking good. He's looking... Everybody was looking good except for fucking me. <laughs> I, I've got a Winnie the Pooh type body, bro, and everybody else is looking fit as hell, looking good. My ass is, is, 
is the fucking doing my exercises for honey. You got the dad look. That's true. I do have a kid. That's always my excuse. Phew. I know. I think he's about to have one. We'll see what happens later. Play more Ring Fit Adventure. That game is so slow. <laughs> you look great for 40. Shut the fuck up. Mods, give that guy the night off. Ludwig looks a little chub. He is not. I think it's just this picture. This is not a flattering picture. It's a baggy shirt. It's a baggy shirt. He's not. He's, he's, they're, they, they're all very fit. Because they're fucking rich. When you're rich, you get to do that. The personal trainers and shit. I'm the everyman. It's my birthday, by the way. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. So the final game happens. Right? Oh, wait. I, I ruined the reveal. Hello, hello. To YouTube presents Rich people can eat more though. World's yeah, but healthier. Gamer. We started with 19 of the best gamers in the world, Evo champions. Game that I haven't told anyone, and the competitors have been. Mm. Sorry. So what I was saying before I was really interrupted. Calf posting. Um, Ludwig kept fake leaking, and he would ask somebody, he's like, "Hey, how's your uh, Street Fighter? How's your Rocket League? How's your Connect Four? And they'd be like, "Uh, uh." And, and, like, you know, he's he's making it, uh, he's convincing because he's a professional. He's very good at this. He was great, right? Um, Not even good bait. I think it, some of it was good. Obviously, it got worse as the day went on. Like, you know, he's, he's fucking around more and more. He was saying he was, like, bare naked boxing or whatever. But, like, some people thought that he actually did leak. And there were, like, ten people in that studio that were like, I know what it is. My chat told me he leaked. I know what it is. It's Connect Four. I know it's Connect Four. And I was like, how how dumb are these chats, right? Because most of these guys have, like, huge chats, right? They're worldwide famous gamers. It's not their fault that they believe it. Their chat told them. But their chats are full of idiot Zoomers who think that Ludwig would do that. <laughs> Literal children. It was very funny. Whining and complaining. What is it? All we So some people thought it was chess... Uh, which I don't think would have been that good. I think chess would have been uh, kind of anticlimactic. Um, some people thought melee, but obviously, like you need a Nintendo license and <laughs> good luck, right? Um, I saw somebody say uh, somebody had a good one. I forget what it was, but like an old game. Um, Weekend chess is so fucking boring. Thank God. I don't think it's boring. I think it's just like. It would just be like, yep, and that's the correct move, and Void wins. Not as fun. And this whole time, it was publicly available information. In fact, it was right behind this wall. We'll show you the game right now, because our two competitors are going to have to play it. By the way, this wall was there the whole time. Nobody knew it moved. So Apparently, production was so sure that we knew. <laughs> production, I, I talked to them after. They're like, yeah, we, we thought people noticed that... People were like going back there and setting shit up. We had no Does fucking idea. Does that mean we are the smartest chat in all of Twitch? Uh, comparatively, yeah, but we're also small. You gotta understand, d d you guys are small, smarter only by volume. Like their chats have like twenty thousand people, ten thousand people. We have, we don't even have two k. <laughs> small chats are just a little bit. They have to be smarter, right? You ever see a Kai Sinat chat? Ugh. Collective IQ of thirty. Gamers final game. There's one guy in here with a 10-digit IQ who brings the average up. Dude, they had the fog machine and everything. That's so good. Void. E Rob. Today. So cool. So cool. Amazing. What a good choice, too, right? Like, it, it's it's perfect. That was fantastic. Good throw, too. Excellent reveal. It's Pong. And and I was like, can you get an HDMI out with this game? Just kind of the nerd production guy in me. Turns out, no. They had to put a camera up and down. <laughs> Dial, like they had to do it this Void way. Spinning it like he's a DJ. He's going to get so tired. Void said that he didn't like that it was Pong. Yeah, but I he played so much Breakout. Like, he was practicing a shit ton of Breakout. So I felt like he was going to... I didn't think he would lose. 
Honestly, yeah, this is better than game capture, I think, anyway, though. Captures right, the feel, there's right? There's no button. Oh. Yeah, there, oh. there was one moment where Erob, like, just uh, fucking his brain melts, and he gives up, like, five points in a 20-second span. I think it was the second game. Yeah, game two. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Void casted a spell. It was really weird. Yeah, four serves in a row. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can sure. find it. Are we losing momentum here? Is that one be not longer? It's longer when it. You're feeling five's not great, but your maybe. It had to have been shit time. here, yeah. right? <laughs> hey man, good games. Jeez, that was no. Yeah, needs to just. Go in, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude. Type oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So six. Competing. Knock Somebody it. To just, like, go, like, go on YouTube and Imagine if people found a meta in Pong. There is one. Did you not notice how Void was playing? Did you not see it? Did you really not see it? You really didn't. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. Have you played Pong before? There is a meta that you do. We made the meta. No, you hit it with the edge and you 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 slam it as you go. Watch how Void places it. So what what E Rob kept doing is hitting it in the center. If you hit it in the center, it goes straight. If you bang it on the side, it's riskier. See how Void doesn't catch it dead center? That's a choice. And if you catch it opposite of where it's coming, it'll go flat. See that? It's just positioning, yeah. But it's a risk. You see that? This is risky. Because if Void is off by pixels, he loses this. Legit never knew that? Yeah, dude. Look. If he's off by pixels, he loses that. Oh, you can't see it. Whoops, sorry. Look at how close this is. You see that? Very slightly down. And it puts it at a harder angle to react to. See? That's the fucking meta. Well, now I want to watch E Rob Meltdown. Somebody needs to just like go, like, go on YouTube and type in Xbox Game. Oh, yeah, sometimes it looks like it goes through. <laughs> and just start playing it, dude. Oh, he's, dude, no, no, he's tilted. He's tilted. He's leaked. He's leaked. He's leaked. He's tilted. Oh, ah! <laughs> you have to breathe. Stop, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no, no way. Turn no. the oh, what happened? What happened? Void is Omega laughing in this moment. I know he is. This is for $20,000. I think the difference is like, it's 20000 or 11000 I wanted the four fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I th it was either for 20 I think the difference is, yeah, it's nine k. Yes. It's ass. This is the most money Void has ever won at a tournament. And if you're like me, and you're like, wait, multiverses. Uh, they paid out the top 64. They paid out the top 32 teams, so they paid out the top 64 with a $100,000 pot. Apparently, Void made like $5,000 from that tournament, right? <laughs> yeah. Him and the cat won like 10 k for, for both, so 5 k each. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, Mirror Man's in here too. Yeah, Mirror Man uh, lost that match for, for that. I mean, it, apparently it wasn't of much consequence. Only a couple thousand. So, Grand Finals being a one K money match was crazy. Yeah, for a hundred thousand dollar tournament. Um, yeah. So Pong does have a meta. Like this. E Rob, take a breather after this. Take yeah, a shot. Gotta, take yeah, so uh, Void wins. Obviously, Void wins. And we have the Neon Genesis Evangelion ending where everybody claps and says, Congratulations. Right? Heavy ass belt, by the way. Heavy ass belt. Um, And he wins the trophy. Ta da! The other meta was hit toward the numbers. Dude, I'm glad they, they side swap. Connor pointed this out, which is really weird. He's trying, he's trying to throw him a different look. For some he's reason, player ball. two, their paddle Come goes on, into the number. Three. You see this? That doesn't happen with player one. 
which seems like it would be annoying. It's not a big deal, but it seems like it would be frustrating, right? I use it as a smoke screen to change my hits better. No, you fucking didn't. <laughs> okay, relax, world's greatest gamer. I don't think you did all that. Just take your $20,000, take your twenty k and your belt. You already won. You don't have to convince me. <laughs> Lying ass. Bro, I totally meant to do that footstool. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. Because footstools are intentional. Drop a Charles explaining in the chat. We need to... This is Void talking about the... Uh... Yeah, the specifics of, of Pong. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> I love that emote so much. Ah! Show the e Rob warp, dude. Where? Now? When was that? Do you know when that was? I don't know what happened there. That was so weird. At one point, the ball like went up and through. It was near the end. That warp shot was crazy. Seal this up with a three. It wasn't this. This rally eight four. I've never seen anything like that. Whoever said that. Nice shot. Sounds like an announcer. Sounds like a Wii character. Yeah. And nice. Oh, he tried to cut. That sucks. Maybe not. Coiled back in his seat. He does not have enough wiggle room to lose another point. No, no, no. He he needs to get safe, not custom. Okay. Well, anyway, one of the shots like warped out of bounds or something. I don't remember. I thought Void was one point away from winning. Was that? I don't remember when it was, but I do remember the ads are coming, and I got no more snoozies because I used them all. Thank you, Jabba, for the five gifties. Five of you will be safe from ads. Thank you to the generosity of Jabba the Hutt. Everybody else, you got to use primary tier one. Ads are coming here. They they probably already dropped for a lot of you guys. I'm sorry about the ads. I can't stop them. I used all my snoozies. I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you soon. Oh, hit the song. They're already gone. Come on, man. I just showed up. My bad. <laughs> hey, you should have been here earlier. All right. There's one point away for that uh, match point for Void. Tournament point. Slow and steady. I remember at some point somebody mentioned Jabba, and I was scared you were going to do your impression. Oh, yeah. Somebody did say Jabba the Hutt. You know how obnoxious that would be for me to do the Jabba bit on the couch? That would be very annoying. <laughs> That would be so annoying for me to do. No, I'm not going to do that. I did the Mario P thing over and over because that was my domain. I was like, I don't care if people like it. Ultimate is my game. Imagine me showing up at this event and said, Hey, everybody, look at me. I don't want to do that. It's not about me. I would never get invited back. Has it stopped you before? Well, Ultimate is different. Ultimate, it, I, I've said this before. If you are watching an Ultimate Tournament four years in, you're going to fucking tune in anyway. I don't care. I'm going to assault your ears. And I don't care if you like it or not. Because you're not tuning away. You're a hardcore fan. Ho, oh, ho, Ludwig. A Booga Void Tournamento. Ho, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take the couch by hostage. Especially, what would Yipes do if I did a shitty Jabba impression? It has to be like, why did he do that? <laughs> Is that a normal bit Coney does? He doesn't know. They don't know. He would laugh his ass off. He might. <laughs> if I did a really good one, it might be funny. Teleport was a 10-5. Is he really? <laughs> Yipes would be like, he would, he would threaten to punch me? He would do the shoemaker? Why <laughs> would Yipes do that? That's aggressive. Well, I'm trying to, trying to make it play. Jeez. Relax, man. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> ho, 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 let by go. Beasto, ho, 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 pongo. Beasto, me, coney, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Bro, Beasto is just easy to say. And I don't mean it like Beast, like Mr. Beast. I think it's like Bistro, but without the R. Damn, he really does send it to the number all the time, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh. Alright, hold on. This is the teleport shot. Boy, the collusion? You know what, man? That, that is my...
Mate. You know how they said it in uh, blood sports? Mm -hmm. I, I think Void I sets see the storyline we all do. Dad at the Olympics, we said it at the start. He was a joke invite. I've never seen that. Did you guys see it? Was it in the was this in the way? Hold on. What? Yeah, reality stone. Watch us. We said it at the start. He was a joke invite. What? Never seen that before. I've never seen that. Now, how much competitive pong have I consumed? Very little. Really, just this. Was that me yelling or was that void? <laughs> I think a bunch of people yelled. We all do. Dad Hold on. At the Olympics, we said it at the start. He was a joke invite. No, that's definitely Void. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it was you, not me. Oh, I saw you. You did it too. I definitely yelled though. I hit the whoa? I definitely hit something. That was crazy. So, uh again, yeah, Void won. And again, I thought Void would win. But as a Smash player, I thought that was the obvious choice. Here's Void bragging to me about how he won $20,000. Jeez, man, get over it. You're lucky I didn't enter. Did you see me give E Rob a point? No. Like you gave it to him on purpose? I did not. What's that Tetris thing uh, you post on Twitter? Uh, Tetra Tetrio. It looks like this. Can I show this? Is it going to fucking leak my IP? <laughs> this is Tetrio. They told us not to mention it on commentary, by the way. Apparently, Tetrio and Tetris had beef. He told me, think about the content, let me win, and I gave him a point and let him score. Oh, on 10-4? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Tetrio, uh, they said not to mention it on commentary, but it's like a free, you know, this is where you go. I'm an A rank, number, top 20K worldwide, pretty good, all right? I haven't done 40 lines in two years, but I'm not a supporter. What do you mean? This person is a supporter. No, I'm not. I never paid them. Yeah, this isn't official, but it's a great site. This is where I'm playing Tetris now. Someone gifted you? Aw. Wait, how do I? I don't know how to find that. Okay, well, that's very sweet. Yeah, I love Tetris. All right, you said it was 10-4. And then you gave him the point. A good shot. I right, said, "Let me win for the content." Ooh. Watch the cam. Ah, okay. That's funny. The collusion? You know That's pretty good. I thought the commentators were joking. I thought they were kidding when when you, they said that. But that's funny. That's good. I think I can hear Super going off in the back. Yeah. 1v1 Void and Tetris. I beat his ass. I beat his ass. Honey, Tetris. this is really important, and we need your input link. He's not a T-spinner. That's the one game I could beat Void in sometimes. Let me know when. Okay. <laughs> I could beat Void in Tetris. Void, who went a, a mid lane 1v1? How's your mid lane? Did you get it to Diamond? I know you were doing that. The problem is no jungler means that we could just pick Malzahar and fucking push. You did get the diamond? Damn, you got the diamond more recently than me then. Damn, you might win. Uh, how do you deal with Jin mid? You think you're good against Jin mid? <laughs> He's cheesy. I got cheese shit. Bounce that fucking grenade. Doof, doof, doof. Shit goes foolish. I think I would lose against Jin mid. Fuck yeah. No jungle. D any d Dude, jungle beats Jin mid. Jin is so bad. Oh, is he bad now? I think I would win with Elise mid. Oh, dude, maybe. I hate Elise. I never know how much damage Elise is going to do. Elise and Aurelia are the two fucked up champions because I'm like, I guess I'm dead. I, I don't know. Jin sucks mid. He's immobile. Uh-uh. I got Jin mid to diamond. As long as you don't get hard camped, that's actually the answer. But most people don't do that. This conversation is mid. I'm sorry for league posting. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you guys aren't listening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. I'm, so I'm done. I'm done. My bad. Hold on. Somebody donated this. Um, Both. Right? Depends how cold he is. Is he in the freezy, freezy peasy kingdom? This one. Probably one, though. Probably not that cold. Toad probably wears a beanie indoors. 
You just lost 1K viewers. <laughs> For the toad thing? Yeah. So, Void won. Great event. W event. I can't wait for the next one. Uh, will I be, be invited back? I don't think so. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm Ludwig, I don't invite me or anybody else back. I don't think so. I think you invite new people every time. But if Sajam and, and Yipes get invited back and I don't, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> That'll be sad. I think you get new people every time. You want to showcase new, uh, you know, whatever. I thought you two didn't like each other for some reason. What, me and Ludwig? No, dude. We haven't, like, talked much, but I, I think he's great. He's awesome. I'm a big fan. You and Ludwig look like clones. No, we don't. <laughs> We're just two white guys. What are you talking about? No, Coney just has beef with Alpha Red and Small Ed, apparently. You and Slime are clones. No, we're just both wearing hats, dude. Why are you guys doing... Stop, bro. We don't... You and Sage Jam, too. You guys... He... This is not... He has a beard. I can't do that. This is my beard. This is as good as it gets, man. Sage Jam has hair. Stop. I have so much hair, still. Anyway, that was the Love Week event. I hope you guys liked watching it. I had a lot of fun uh, being a part of it, and I hope it get called back next year. Now, in case you guys are just showing up, uh, we have a lot of decorating to do. Last, uh, a, a week or so ago, I gave my stream $1,000 to buy decorations for the stream. Okay? And that's right here behind me. And we're going to set that up in just a moment. I'm going to set up all the decorations along with chat as a happy home designer. It's going to be a great time. But before we do that, I would love to tell you all about El Pollo Loco! I love El Pollo Loco, and I know you do too. Fellas, El Pollo Loco has a fire-grilled food menu with something fit for anybody's taste. Now, if you guys haven't tried the stuffed quesadilla, steak quesadilla from El Pollo Loco, you are missing out. By the way, El Pollo Loco, I'm pretty sure it means the crazy chicken. Now, it's literally stuffed with melty Oaxaca. They taught me how to say that. Uh, melty Oaxaca cheese and fresh poblano peppers. They done took the cheese and put it in the quesadilla. They stuffed it in there. Delicious. No joke. This might be my favorite all-time quesadilla ever. I'm obsessed. They wrote that in the talking points. I don't have an El Pollo Loco near me. Um, <laughs> but the best part is, with any purchase of $10.99 or more, you get a free stuffed quesadilla. That's right, a free stuffed quesadilla. So you can try it to yourself. And let me know if it's your favorite. Now, to get yours, you simply go to the menu in the app. Before you start an order and tap redeem promo code uh, and then enter the code free DIA that unlocks the offer, which now shows up under available rewards when you go to check out. So you do this. Okay. I have to show you this. And then redeem promo code, which is uh, you go to the menu and then redeem promo code, which I, I guess is it said it would be here. Um. Maybe rewards. Ah, you find it. You'll figure it out. All you have to do is enter the promo code free Dilla. Free Dia. Like free D I L L A. Okay? And you get that free stuffed quesadilla. It will unlock it for you with a ten ninety nine purchase offer. And you get ten ninety nine worth of items in the cart along with the stuffed quesadilla. And then in the cart under available rewards, you just apply it. And there's all kinds of great stuff. You can try the fire grill combos. Let's take a look right now. These are all absolutely delicious. Love that crazy chicken. Please, Coney. <laughs> no, no, no. Food. It's too much value. No, I, I have to tell you. I am I am contractually obligated to tell you. I am so scared of leaking my address. I am contractually obligated to tell you about the stuffed quesadillas. Now they have the Chipotle chicken stuffed quesadilla and the Poblano chicken stuffed quesadilla or the shredded beef. If chicken isn't your thing, don't know why you would go to El Pollo Loco and not get the chicken, right? 
Perfect Pollo Chicken is just one click away for pickup or delivery. And remember, you can get the rewards if you order more. The more you order, the more you save, the more delicious, crazy chicken you get to eat. It's yummy. Aren't all quesadillas stuffed by nature? Uh, yeah, but these are different. They also have tostadas, right? You could get a classic tostada. You could get the salad or the double chicken with a little bit of that avocado in there. I'm not an avocado guy, but you might like it. How about the chicken meals? I've got a two-piece, three-piece, four-piece, and you don't even need to get a taco or a burrito or a quesadilla or anything like that. Just get the chicken straight up. Maybe you want a breast, maybe a wing, a chicken thigh, a chicken leg. I'm a white meat guy. I'm a big fan of just this thing right here. Love that. It's absolutely delicious. Oh, but sometimes I'm feeling a bowl. And if you're on keto, oh, baby, I have great news for you. Fellas, the world's first keto burrito. Nobody's ever done it before. A burrito for those of you who are health conscious and trying to get through ketosis. Now they've got this for you. Mm-mm. Coney is definitely a white meat guy. Yeah? Why do you say it like that? Coney, the, locust po the closest Pollo Loco to me is 950 miles away. D go ahead and order it now then. It'll be here tomorrow. Just get that shit delivered. Mm -mm. Yum. And remember to get that stuffed quesadilla. Otherwise, they're going to have to drive all the way back. Remember to get your drink, too. And if you're trying to eat on a diet, don't worry. The Pollo Fit menu is here for you. Look at this wide array of choices. The double chicken avocado salad or the keto burrito. <laughs> there you go. No matter what you want, a burrito or a salad, it's there for you. Thank you, Yeti. Thanks, Yeti Apocalypse. It was a very fun event. I had a great time. Need something for the little ones? Shall we? How about two legs? Or the official BRC burrito. BRC. Thought it was a B at first. Lots of extras, too. You want some Cheeto churros? So I said Cheetos. Chur Can I do that? Chir churros, tortilla chips, corn tortillas on the side if you want that. You could even get the jalapeno hot sauce. One packet of it, which only has zero calories. Wow. Anything you want, you could get at El Pollo Loco. All kinds of great combos available for you. But remember, the big thing are the stuffed quesadillas. And you could try one for free. How do you do that? I already told you, but I'll tell you again, okay? All you have to do is order $10.99 of uh, normal priced items, okay? $10.99, and, and then you go into the menu and you enter the promo code FREEDIA. I would show you, but I don't want to show my address, and it's not in here the way that they said that it was. You have to click on redeem code uh, when you go there. I think you have to do it in the app. Oh, they want you to do it in the app, like the phone app. Because this menu looks like a churro in the app. If you go on your phone, check it out. It's... Wait, can I do it here? Is this shit responsively designed? Wait. No. <laughs> okay. Well, go on the app, and then you can do it that way, okay? Hey, Zaz the Blacksmith, what's going on? I'm telling my chat about the new delicious stuffed quesadilla. As you can see... Uh, right here. So anyway, you add ten ninety nine worth of nope. You add ten ninety nine worth of items, okay? And then you just go into the order and you enter the promo code free dia. Free D I L L A. Free Dilla. Okay. And then it's so easy to do. And you get a free stuffed quesadilla. Try it out for yourself. You could get it for pickup or delivery. That's right, delivered right to your house. And if you don't have one near you, I'm so sorry to tell you, call your senator or your governing official and tell them, I demand El Pollo Loco. I need that crazy chicken. I know that's what I'm going to do. I've never had El Pollo Loco, but I need this poblano chicken stuffed quesadilla. Ooh, actually, that sounds a little bit too spicy. Maybe just the chipotle chicken stuffed quesadilla with so much cheese in it. They don't put the cheese, the Oaxaca cheese, in the quesadilla. What a concept. Delicious El Pollo Loco delivered right to your door with the stuffed quesadilla for only ten ninety nine. Use the promo code FREEDILLA. It's so easy. <laughs> Don't go to ElCrazyChicken.com. 
That's not what it's called. It's El Pollo Loco. Guys, it's working on me. Oh, God, I'm hungry now. I unironically want this now. Uh, it's not near me. Don't go to ElCrazyChicken.com. You go to El Pollo Loco. Pollo with two L's, not a Y. That's Spanish. Check out ElPollyLoco.com. Thanks for sponsoring the stream, fellas. Mm mm. Delicious. They did not take the pepperoni. <laughs> they did nothing with pepperoni. Thank you all for obliging me on my birthday. Are you done yet? Yes. I'm done. Can I get what you were thinking in this moment? Always on your phone. Tony, you know about the secret announcement. Phone. I do? What is it? Did I not tell you? No, I didn't tell It's me, his 36th birthday! Yeah, wow. yeah, wait. It's not my 36th birthday. Why did he only up it by one? I don't like that he did that. He could have upped it by like 10, and then it's like, oh, that's funny. By upping it by one, I sound insecure about correcting him. Slime went up to 40. Why did we only up it by one? Yum, 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 yum. They took the check and they stuffed it in a good quesadilla. Yum, yum. Kanye loves that quesadilla. You got to try it now. He's a tastemaker and an influencer. Give it a shot. Uh, it's actually the optimal year to do. <laughs> Look at Yipes. This dude is 36. Uh, Ta-da! <laughs> I want to know what you were thinking in this moment. Dude, I didn't know where the cake was. Because the camera was, like, weird. Ludwig had to point it out. If you watch me, while I'm looking for it. Ludwig had to... Right there. He had to point... I'm, like, looking around, waiting for the cake jump scare. Why did you ask them to do this on stream for you? Because it is my special day, and I deserve recognition just as much as anybody. It was my very special big boy birthday day. Uh, for every decade. Uh, wow. Go for it. I, I, I had a bit I was going to run if they asked me how old I was, but it didn't come up. I had one planned. So they were going to like do a birthday thing. If they did do a birthday thing, and they were going to be like, you know, oh, happy birthday. How old are you? I was going to say, huh, what? How old are you? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Just do that a couple times. I thought that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. But it didn't work out. Don't tell me it's not funny. It's very funny. Why is everybody saying it's funny? Like, the joke is that I don't hear them. You blow candles out weird. Wait, what do you mean? I literally blew them out quickly and efficiently. What are you talking about? Plus two because it's your birthday. Thank you. Very much a dad joke. It is not. Okay, I got to talk with you guys about this. Stop saying every joke I do is a dad joke. It pisses me off. Just because I have a kid now, not everything I do is a dad. It's like a Venn diagram, and now I'm just a circle. One issue with the crazy full comment is that they got rid of the turkey cosetolo, or as I prefer to say, they turkey. removed the bastard. Okay, I believed you for a second. I've never been there, so I didn't know. Make funny jokes then. I literally do, all the time. I make a lot of funny jokes. All the time. I've got one that I'm working on with bleach right now. I'm kind of workshopping it, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. I, I can't wait to, uh, I'm going to unveil it in a little bit. This is a Coney joint. <laughs> Bleach joke sucks. <laughs> oh, brother. It's really good. It's a good one. I can't wait. Mario pissing is a very funny bit. You know how I know uh, you're new is because you're nice to me. The Ohio onslaught is a C in chat. It's always the C's and sometimes the O's that are nice to me. Thank you, new subscriber. Once you get to the N or the E, you the, the, people are not nice anymore. Please, chat. I am 36. <laughs> I don't make dad jokes. I'm I don't sound like that. I'm just a young streamer with a full head of hair. That's literally don't true! Do it. Well, not maybe not young. Middle-aged in, in Twitch culture, not in real life. Thank you, Smack Shack. Thanks for the 10 gifties. What kind of cake was that? Tiramisu. I don't like chocolate, though, so I gave it back to him. I felt kind of bad doing this bit because I didn't want... I, I figured that they knew I was joking, but... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So I 
thought you was kidding. I remember we was taking a ride over here, and it was you was like mentioning it, like on your bed, like, hey, my birthday is such and such. But Why would I lie about that? Why did he think I was joking? You thought I was kidding? Oh, I thought you thought I was kidding about being 35. I was like, yeah, people can get that old. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah seriously. Uh, it's his, it's his birthday. real birthday. <laughs> I know. Hey, thank you so I hate chocolate, though. You can have that. It's tearing the Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I felt kind of bad after doing that. I figured that, you know, the summit or the, the off brand guys probably knew that I was fucking with them, but <laughs> I thought that was a bit. It, I mean, it was a bit. I don't like chocolate, but I've just, you know, we made it fun. So it was a good time. I would have kicked you out. I just, I, listen, I don't get to be the asshole heel on the couch that much during this event. I have to, damn, my calf looks small there. I don't get to be the asshole on the couch too much during this event because it's not about me. So I get to do this during this point. I get to be an asshole for like, you know, these 20 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Fat unpressed. <laughs> I'll show you my... I know you're trying to get me to show you my calf right now. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that shit. I know what you want. I'm not doing that. Because I got no shoes on. Or socks. I know what you want. Coney, you are pog champing. He almost dropped the tiramisu. Why is Coney always the one wearing shorts on Couchcast? I don't know, dude. I think it's because they're L.A. pilled. They're all California pilled, and they don't know how good they have it. When I go there, I'm happy because the weather is nice and not bad. It's gorgeous outside in SoCal. I am from Maryland. It's gross. I don't know why other people don't wear shorts when it's warm. Yeah. Was the cake good, though? It actually was. It was delicious. I, I did actually eat it, and I don't really eat chocolate cake. Did you see the box box clip with his mic? Can you link me that? Because we did tune in dur at one point, but I didn't. We didn't get to see a lot of it, but it was very funny. What can I do to make you watch Nasby? Unfortunately, this has gone on a little long, so I don't think we're watching Nasby tonight. We'll watch it tomorrow. Maybe there will be two character showcases. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. We gotta set up the things. God, are we gonna be able to do this all tonight? There's a lot. We'll go till midnight. We'll do a long stream. Let's see. Rat races tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Okay, this is the box box mic. Watch the volume. Wait, what? <laughs> ah, we barack. Okay. Okay, hello? Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, type, uh, burr. <laughs> that is <laughs> okay that was not that was not what we heard we heard a different clip where he was just like a robot for like 10 seconds his mic was fucked up <laughs> I, it wasn't that it was like he was actually talking and it was just it was that but it was like brrr. it was longer than 10 seconds he robs too yeah the setups were something was up it was during lego I would have to find it, but it was very funny. Yeah. I love it when mics go bad. That's terrific. That's a truly tremendous. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Let's decorate! Time to make a happy home! Before you start, check this. Why do I want a rap rat emote? I'm so excited for the Muppets. I don't have the Muppets. I thought you knew that. Sorry, Chatter. Okay. Coney gets to open all the presents he bought for himself. Okay. I'm so mad at you guys. Okay. Fellas, it's my birthday! Yay! It's my big 
boy birthday. Uh, unfortunately, it was a few weeks ago, probably by the time you see this. But look at all these gifts chat got me. My Twitch chat got me so many gifts. Look at this. Just kidding. I paid for all of them. They were $1,000 total. Go watch that video if you haven't already. But they all showed up. And today we're going to look through them and decorate and look at all the wonderful gifts that I bought myself. Because my stream chat never does anything for me. But you can change that if you come into my stream and just stop by. and Maybe give me some money. I'd really appreciate it. And if you can't do that, that's okay. Just like this video. You're going to like it anyway. Saves you some time down the line. All right. Let's open up some gifts, shall we? I'm stealing shall we. That's my thing now. Happy 40th. Guys, can you not lie about my age on YouTube? They might think it's true. <laughs> the YouTube audience doesn't know that's a joke. Don't do that. Don't do I don't like that. One person I told Slime this too. Every time you fuck around with my age, one person in chat is going to believe it. Alright, let's stop let's start opening. Here we go. Yahoo! The fact that none of you can come to a consensus means that they know what it's a fake. Very happy birthday for myself. I'm so glad I bought all these gifts for myself. Well, I know, sure do love my birthday. Okay, but uh, but to be fair, I bought them with chat, and it's the thought that counts more than anything, right? You guys help, right? Let's open it up. Oh, this one has the has. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um. Description on the thing. Um, what could it be? Why? This is. I should probably. No, I'm not refunding any of it. I was gonna say I should keep the box intact. It is a lovely sparkling beaded chandelier. How fancy! Wow. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> where do I put that? Put it on the mic? A decadent streamer. <laughs> what a fancy stream. <laughs> it was $60, by the way, of my money. Um, I think we put this up later when I go up top, because there are some other things to hang from the ceiling. We have a couple items to, to hang up. So, I think I need, <laughs> not to spoil, but we have a friend that's gonna help us hold some stuff in just a bit. All right. I don't know what this is. Todd, <laughs> put my dog up there. Supposed to hang on a tree? <laughs> um. But instead, he just is gonna go on the wall, I guess? <laughs> like. <laughs> it's kinda scary. Where do you think he goes? On the cabinet, you think? Mystical fogging tree? Ta-da! On the mic? That doesn't work. Make him chat? Put it on the TV? 
Well, I could put it above the TV. Over the TV. Hold on. Like he's talking. Like, like the it's you. Like it's chat saying it, right? Hold on. So like. I have to set this up right. Hold on. Okay. So, like... Because remember, you have a cow. You have a cow, too. Like that? Like this? Yeah. Bad news. Bad news. So Mal, when I was gone in LA, moved the command strips, and I don't know where she put them. So when she gets home, I'll get them, okay? We'll hang it up soon. I, pro I have these large hook crochets, I guess. Which should work, maybe? I, those are too big. Hold on. Large utility hooks. It's not the same. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> a push pin would probably work. I don't have pins. I could nail it. No, these things are heavy, dude. These are big. Hold on. Just review Nasby 2, it's over. No, 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 I can find them. Hold on, hold on. Tape rip the paint off the wall. Will it work? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Yes? Yes? Are you sure? It's too heavy for tape. I I don't think that's true. Hold on. Turn on click maps? <laughs> Alright, I'm turning on click maps, okay? Click on where the left eye goes, okay? Click on where the left eye goes. Yep, 
Okay, never mind. Overruled. This is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's one. Okay, hold on. I, I gotta turn. Okay, I'm turning this off now. Okay. Until it's fixed, that's what this is, okay? Uh, did I do the eyes wrong? How close do they go? Like Pee Wee's Playhouse. How do I explain this? If somebody come, somebody's gonna come in here to fix this one day. Fix the eyes. There. <laughs> oh, perfect. Good. Ta-da! You have a little friend. Yay! Perfect. Oh, that eye's pissing me off. Let's open up something else, shall we? This one came in like a half open box thing. Because I had to tear off the thing. Alright. Thanks for taking so long. Th that Some of these will take longer than the others. Good news. Juliet's not asleep yet. Which means... Tell me it comes with a battery. Stop. Stop. You got the battery yet? Four nine volts. <laughs> what? How strong is this? It's gonna blow out all my windows. How loud is it? Let's find out. 
easy hand covers over 800 yards. Oh my god. But there is volume control. Let me see if I have it. But does anybody know what kind of bet? Do I have any battery enjoyers here? Anybody like batteries? D? C D. Okay, hold on. One second. I think I have him. I think I have him. Hold on. I think I have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had spared D batteries. I did. I don't remember why. I think they fit. Yeah, I have a bunch. Why we have a full pack, but okay, these are like hard to get in though. Oh my god, add in 10 seconds. I'm not joking. You guys are going to think I'm doing a bit. I'm not. Ads in 5 seconds, I don't have a snoozy. I'm about to use it. Sub with Twitch Prime or a tier 1. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Just had to make sure it was working. So my daughter actually... Uh, just got taken up to bed. It's bedtime for her. She just got laid down. And they put on her music. And she's all snuggled up in bed under the blanket. Good night, sweetheart! I love you! Daddy loves you very much! I'll see you tomorrow! I'll see you tomorrow! I love you! Four D batteries well spent, I would say. That's pretty good. Raving success. I'm leaving five stars on this shit. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> so Mal's not home tonight. She's out. And uh, my mom, Juliet's grandmother, just put her to bed. I don't know if she heard that or not. <laughs> She's going to have a nightmare about this. It says music, by the way. That's not music. Those are the uh, tormented, agonizing screams. Of the seventh layer. 
Oh, it says we are the best. I literally couldn't hear that. I didn't hear that part. All right. Money well spent. Now, I'm glad I have this, but if only I had a more authoritative item, one that made a similar amount of noise, but maybe cast me in a more, um, I don't know, judgmental role. What does your mother think you do? Oh, she knows. <laughs> she d she gave me my first video game when I was three years old. So she knew what she was signing up for. Played Super Mario Brothers 3, I think. Apparently, I laughed really hard when Mario turned into a raccoon. Oh, hell no. So... <laughs> I think you guys know what it is. Where is this gonna go? Cause remember, like that we have a lot more stuff for the background. Right behind you, you think? We like to have fun on the Coney stream. That's why I just had to have this ridiculous cow. <laughs> He's looking at a window, but you put it on a wall. That's <laughs> so funny. Where does he go? You think just here? Just like right above, like... Like here? Right here? There. Good as new. It's so small. <laughs> that 
is really small. Looks great. Thank you. Yeah, name that cow, why don't you? You guys can name the cow. <laughs> I thought it'd be bigger than that. Yep. What? Did you guys see that web socket thing? Looks like a real window. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, man. Are you guys seeing that web socket thing? I don't know what that is. You guys saw that, right? I expected it to be as big as the TV. I... Happy birthday. Thank you. Maybe it was the click maps? Thank you, Lady M. I've named the cabinet Eddie, and I love him. <laughs> that part didn't come out. His name is Eddie now. Somebody gave me $5 to name him Eddie, so there you go. All right. That web socket thing has been happening for months. Wait, really? Hold on, I could just turn it off, I think. Yeah, now it's off. Okay. That was a Doug Doug thing. I turned it off. There. I didn't know that was happening. I've never seen it. Whoops. All right. Next up, I, I had to take this guy out because he came in a bag and I had to rip off the my address. And when I did it, ripped the bag. He's goofy. Yeah, goofy, yeah. <laughs> He's so cute, though. He's so soft. Juliet wanted to play with him right away. Why are the eyes like that? I think that's how they would be if he was real. I don't know. Something about the... the like, there's something about the Bulborb and Pikmin that evokes a quiet dignity that this one doesn't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the real bulb orb, like, he's... he. Oh, it still had the overlay thing. Oh, it might be... What What is that, actually? Is it my TTS? No. Oh, I think it's the sound alerts. Ah, I think that's what it is. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I think there's something about, like, the actual in-game bulb orb that's a lot more dignified than this. This looks like a DreamWorks character. More like Illumination, actually. Early DreamWorks. But, I like him all the same. He has a tongue. He's kind of cute. Probably because it's a knockoff. <laughs> what do you think now? A knockoff? Would a knockoff have the official Nintendo licensed product badge of approval? Mods, give him the night off. They call it a chappy. Is it called a chappy in Japan? Or is that the knockoff brand? <laughs> All right, where does he go? You think? Probably just next to chat, right? You want to snuggle him? Cute. Very cute. Lock him in the cabinet, he'll die. He'll chew on the death wire. There he is. Little sweetie. He's so cute. We can't see him? Well, I, I can't help you with that. We'll figure it out. Alright. Oh yeah, this one also came in a bag. He's bigger than I thought he would be. Now, I could just... But then you might not ever see him. Right? Because he's down here. So that probably doesn't work, right? Because my cam wanted to be like this. <laughs> Hang him from your chin. Just knowing he's there is perfect. Hang him from the cab? Maybe. I think we put him with the chandelier, because we have a lot of things to hang up. So, we'll figure him out later. Alright. 
This one's a small box. This looks like this. Uh, okay. This stream is gonna take all day. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have done the world's greatest for so long. We're going till midnight, fellas. It's... <laughs> Wait, I have to make it? Surely you know who this is. Oh, never mind. You don't make it. You just put it in there. Uh. Assemble. Does he rotate? Okay. Please tear off the yellow protective film. It says there's a yellow protective film. I don't... Peel the back? Why do you guys know about this? Everyone in chat knows? Okay. I have one. I bought one of these. Peel it off. What if you don't? Wait, off this side, right? The back? ASMR it? Oh, I will. How the fuck do you get this off? Is it the other side? Honey, if I buy, will you fly or latch it? Also, I had to use a link shortener because, oh my god, this original link is link at x link. Hold on, let me just get this. How the fuck do you get this off? Pick a god and pray. It took me 30 minutes. I have scissors, maybe? Dude, this is ridiculous. Hold on, I got, I got an opening. Yup. Yup, got it. A master at work. Tony, are you gonna play stream Starfield? What do you think? comes in many colors. Green. <laughs> Red. Blue. Flashing. Um, strobe. Fade. <laughs> kind of like the rainbow gorilla. Or smooth. I like fade. Yeah, I think we go fade here. And hold on for the full experience. Wait. Ooh! A shining light in the darkness! He will be your guide! Okay. Now, he has a very short cable, so I'm just gonna leave him there for now. We'll find a new spot for him later, okay? He has a very short cable. I have to get a new cable. I do not like the cow when the lights are dim. Hey, you picked it, so... Big one. Time for a big one. A big gift. 
Let's open up a big one. It's... Big Esperola seemed to strike. Biden, big ass gorilla, send the strike. They're working together now, it's a tag team. All right. This shit says made in China. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. Should I always follow up lookouts coming? Compton Gorilla is coming for you. Why am I getting tag team? Why are there two of you? Gorilla Chad, I always follow up lookout Coney. You got the hot tag? Compton Gorilla is coming for you. Did we get two? <laughs> I don't know why this song is this song. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Okay. We did get two. The other one is not in as big a box. The other one is not that big. Perks of having a drop ceiling. Alright, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Pretty good. 
pretty good. Like right there? Good? Good? W? Wait a minute. How do I close the drop ceiling now? Uh. Hold on. I'm I'm going to try to see if I can get a cam on this. Hold on. Okay. I can get my ca my phone cam on this. Okay. All right, hold Chat, on. Chat, do you think this rope will be long enough? Just stop. Stop. None of that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the chat. Okay. Hold on. Wait. I want you to see what I see and why I don't know if this will work. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay. All right, let's see if this works. Okay. Okay, you see the monkey? <laughs> um, I don't know. He's there. Uh, how do I, clo how do I close the ceiling? Um, <clears throat> check out all my old games. W. What do I do? <laughs> Drill a hole. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll just be quieter tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, chat. <laughs> All right. Well, he's there for now. <laughs> Good spot though. Do you live in an office building? No, the the basement just has that. But now he can live there, right? Do we want the fancy ceiling? An air of sophistication. Ironically, chat, I'm going to get a rope and hang it up here. I think I'm going to get a rope and hang the chandelier up here. That's what I think I'm going to do. Put the chandelier on him like a skirt. I can't. Shit won't fit around his paw. Okay, we're going to need... <laughs> We're gonna need some some. We're gonna need a little bit more time for this. This one I'm gonna have to cook up on my own. I need a rope. I think I'm gonna put it above the TV to make it fancy. Tony, where's his tail? Ah, one moment. I do have that. Thank you. 
There he is. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, is he is he facing? Okay, good enough. There he goes. All right, let's keep moving. Give him Cracko? Oh, hold on one sec. Someone say something objectionable. Say something objectionable right now. Old and short, you say? Order! Order! I hold you in contempt! I thought this would be louder. Order! I hold that chatter in contempt. I sentence you to 30 nights off. Order in the court! Hold on, let me put it on the table. Hold on. Dude, it starts flying! It doesn't work! Is it plastic? It's breaking. It's literally chipping. Right now, it chipped off. Some of it chipped off. I'm not kidding. Well, we have this at least. The gavel kind of sucks. Yeah. Sounds like a kid's play toy. This is getting refunded. I'll put that shit towards something good. Fake ass Lego gavel, yeah. All right. Where did the scissors? Oh, there they are. Honestly, dude, the monkey is so much better than I ever could have imagined. I love that guy. Do it on the table? I did, it didn't work. <laughs> Hold on. Now this is not a decoration per se, but this may help us when we get creative. my full address was already in there like they personalize it and it just had my full address and credit card information <laughs> SSN in the case yeah. okay now we have this this will be fun I have ideas for this this will be a good time it's real too WWE in my room? I can hang this. 100 subs in this briefcase if I could just get it. That's funny. All right. This shit is a mess, by the way. All right. I think I know what this has to be.
Run a prediction. Which one is it? Is it the dead man? Or the people's champ? I guess he's not the people. What would you call him? He's not the people's champ. He's not that tall, actually. It's not even that big. <laughs> All right, how do I? If he, this is his real height. He's gonna be outside the frame. <laughs> uh, okay, unfold. Fold long ways. On vertical crease. Oh, I see. Okay, all right, and then lift up lock tabs. Lift up, what do you mean lift up? What? Oh, I see. kind of hard. Guys, I know what this looks like. I know what this looks like. <laughs> Why is he so tall? Why is he so tall? I'm serious. I'm serious. Why is he so... He's not this tall in real life. I'm not kidding. Why is he so tall? Maybe it's not that he's so tall, Connie. Bullshit. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Fucking true. <laughs> Honey, after unboxing Cena. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain, the only thing that's real. Alright. Good one. This, guy, this guy's going crazy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Where is do you think this is a good spot for him? Do you think that's a good spot? Probably, right? Okay. Closer? Hold on. How tall? Yahoo! There's, Make sure to there's warn no him about fucking the way. There's literally no way. There's that's not Here true. That's In this corner not at true. six foot one and weighs that's not true. The people's champ John Cena. And in this corner at four foot ten inches tall. No, in that's not true pounds, either. It's the short bald King Cunning. No. Why is he four inches taller than me? That's way more. <laughs> Undertaker is like six ten. 
That's going to be way worse. <laughs> oh, man. All right. They're friends. Stop blatantly lying about your height. I want you to know I'm as tall as Sage am. Not a joke. When I went there, I saw it. He says he's 5'10". I don't know if that's true. Why? <laughs> Wait. Big ass gorilla. Not a small ass. I'm literally not bald. Look at all this hair. Look at the luxurious, luscious hair I will have until I die. You can't just say balding. Kong seen a new mascot? It's John Kong. That's John Kong. When a gust of wind comes, it's over for you, Don Flamingo. This is not a comb over, okay? I have this and this. I have the Jack Nicholson. I'm, oh my god. When did it get worse? It got worse. Oh my god, dude. It actually got worse. Oh my god. Shave it? I think it's gone. It's gotta go, bro. It's gotta go. Stop wearing a hat all the time. It makes it worse. Is that true? I heard that's not true, though. Honey, that jump scare. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm having a heart attack. Dude, I, uh, oh, 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 call 911. I don't think it's true. Dude, nobody in my family balds. Why me? Tony, do it again just to be sure. Oh, my God. Oh, that's bad. Oh, my God. I think I just have a big forehead, actually. I think I just have a big forehead. Oh, my God. Damaged! Oh, my God, dude. It's just the angle. Oh, it's just the angle. <laughs> it's just the angle, man. Whatever, you can't even tell if my hair is like this. I'll just keep it long forever. <laughs> I have thin blonde hair and a balding heart. It's nasty. Nobody in my family has ever balded. 
I guess I just have that much tea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hi, Tess. Hold on. Someone has to be first? That's literally not true. High tea would make you bald. That, that's the joke. That's what I'm saying. You, you guys are so stupid. Are you guys here from the Ludwig event? Are you guys new viewers? <laughs> Fucking children. has come very tightly packed. Um, let's get him out of there. Cody literally is the carrot top of Twitch. Let's go. Yeah, cool. All right. He doesn't look so good. <laughs> Looks like he just came from a, a Chinese market. <laughs> oh, man. He's got to get fluffed up. <laughs> I didn't kill him. What do you mean you killed him? What did I do? Okay. I have an idea with this guy. Hold on. gonna either mount this TV to put it higher or put it on some kind of riser or something okay uh, for now let's try this It's just going on the on the box. Why won't it work? You're gonna be fine. It's fine. It's This doesn't really fix the problem. I was gonna lay the goose out in front of it, but it's too big. I have to use a smaller box.
Will this work? Will this work? Ta da! I'll fix it later. Was that reflection always there? No, it's because it's higher. I'm the best! I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount the TV. Honey, I know it's only your lights and the TV reflection, but that Kindle looks like dick and balls, and I find that to be no, rather No, it doesn't. Humorous. No, it doesn't. You're gross. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I'll fix it later. I'm gonna mount the TV higher or get it on a riser. I was gonna put the goose there, but I don't know where else to put it. I gotta angle the monkey too, cause he's like sideways. I like him to look at the camera, right? Like that. Hang the goose from the cabinet? That doesn't feel right. Wait, do you see this sweat spot? Do you see how it's like hazy right here? What is that? See that? What is, can I touch the lens? Can I touch that? What is that? I think it's good. I'm getting sweaty. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. Thanks, Cody. I'm clean now. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Um. Last thing, I think. I think this might be the last thing.
You've got to be fucking kidding me. He touches the ceiling. I'm not joking. His head is scraping the ceiling. This is so much harder than Cena. You think a little bit more to the right? A little bit more? Or you think that's good? It's good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he needs a mask now. I don't know. 
I don't think it'll fit around his hat. He's very menacing. This was not worth a thousand dollars. Look at my Amazon cart. Yeah, wait, I didn't get my my gold monkey. I got both, right? Oh, I'm still missing stuff. Did I only get one monkey? I only see one. No, I'm still missing some stuff. Hold on. Yeah, banana duck, gamer affirmation poster. Hold on. Maybe there's another box I missed. Wait. I think we're good. This is so stupid. Where do they go? Okay. Top of cabinet? Oh, they smell good. Smell it. It's like fresh wood. You are strong. You are kind. Put it by the Undertaker like their dialogue options. That's funny. I don't... What, where, what else do we do with those? There's got to be something here. There's like an angle here, but I don't know what it is. It's fine. I could put them in between these two, but I think that's too... Yeah, I don't think so. Why is cabinet sharing untold truths? The cabinet of affirmation. <laughs> so stupid. And now, 
For the piece de resistance. The left side feels too blank. You think so? I don't know where the gold monkey went. Did I not order him? It wasn't in the in the thing. Maybe I didn't order him. I need a second monkey. I thought we just got the one, did we? This is so ugly. It looks like a Pikmin enemy. Its head is backwards. <laughs> Dude, why is its head backwards? <laughs> he is strong. <laughs> Where does he go, chat? I don't... <laughs> uh, there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere left. There's nowhere left. Every inch of your room has a face. Imagine waking up here. Imagine you've never been in this room and you woke up here. <laughs> and the door is locked. Uh, greetings, traveler. I have four inscrutable phrases which you must learn to understand <laughs> through the coming journey. You are strong. You are kind. You are brave. You are smart. Take this wisdom and protect it with your life. What do I do now? That's the thing. I have so much stuff behind me, but it's all like, it's all, it's all so jumbled up. I think if I mount the TV, I could put the goose in the back and put everybody in front of him across the line. You know? This actually looks awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. And this is the room now. Good night, Moon. Good night, Arcade. Good night, John Kong. Good night, Undertaker. Good night, Monkey. Good night, Greco. <laughs> Good night, silly window cow. <laughs> this is awful. I'm 35 today, by the way. Happy birthday. Thirty-five and awesome. Yeah. All right, let's take a picture for Twitter. Everybody, be nice in the camera. All right, I'm taking a picture for Twitter. This is just fucking sad. <laughs> All right, I'm taking a picture for 
favorite Twitter, our finished product. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys wanted that. <laughs> I changed my mind. This sucks. Refund everything. What happened to the chandelier? I have to find... The chandelier is going to go, like, here, I think, to make it fancy. Like, up here. But I have to get up there. I'm going to need some rope to do that. Right? Some decorum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something to make it look a little fancy, you know? <coughs> add some add some elegance to our proceedings, right? Coney, they fucked up your room. I'm so sorry. Hey, everybody said they liked the old place better and that they wanted some Here you go. This is what you want, huh? Fucking Peewee's Peewee's pl fun playhouse. You made Peewee's playhouse with a fucking face on the TV and a banana duck and the Undertaker. Cheer up, Coney. It looks funny, not bad. <laughs> Thanks. Good night, John Call. Good night, <laughs> Bulber. Good night, Undertaker. Good night, Banana Duck. Good night, Bunder. And, of course, good night, YouTube. <laughs> Honey, the chandelier looks a bit like a jellyfish, what do you say? What have they done? Uh, I don't think it looks like a jellyfish. It looks elegant. It's like a lovely ball. Joy popping off. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Fu you live here. I know. Yeah. You just visit. You guys just visit four times a week. I have to live here. All things considered, it doesn't look that bad. All things considered? <laughs> this is bro's office where he works. Literally true. I have to answer sponsor emails tonight. With this shit behind me. Oh yeah, that rate sounds good. I'd love to play your game or show your product. What do you think, John Kong? <laughs> Take a work call? I, Dude, my cam is off until further notice. There's no way. Do you think John Kong or Kong Cena is funnier? I think John Kong is very funny. Kong Cena? I like John Kong because it's very basic. <laughs> the Good Night Moon is so funny to me. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> I love the, the, the Good Night Moon is very fucking funny. 
Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Someone cooked here? Who? Just green screen out everything? Yeah, actually. Fuck this. We're going back to green screen era. <laughs> Fuck yeah! this shit. I'm going back to green screen, Here's a brief Coney. bit of happiness for you, Link. <laughs> <laughs> the old ass ways. I don't know what the. To... Oh, it smells weird. Dude, this smells weird. I think it's the beads. Use <laughs> the old room as a green screen. Yeah, to make you all more comfortable. Cool, man. Green screen, a giant fireplace. What, like my whole fucking house is engulfed? <laughs> Coney, this sucks. Hey, you asked for it. You got what you wanted. Not so easy, is it, to make a happy home? So are we spending the other 400 now or some other night? <sighs> we can fix it. Can't even see it, dude. It's so you can barely see it. This looks fucking miserable, by the way. When I'm in small cam, this is awful to look at. This is not a vibe. Turn the cab on. I will. I will, and I'm very excited. This sucks so hard. Yeah, man. It just needs to be organized. How? The goose is too much. You think it's the goose that's the problem? You think the goose is the issue, huh? <laughs> Linkaga? This is not a good Linkaga emote. I like the vision, the idea, but I don't like the cat. Yeah, I think the goose is too big. We gotta do something with him. What the? Maybe. The chat television needs to be at an angle. You would not understand Connie. Take him out, he knows too much. Oh shit, wait. problem is that I have to I, I have to I, it has to lean against the wall 
the glare is bad. I need to fix that. But I need to get the stand up. That's the problem. Flop the goose over the cab? Honey, you look like you're trying to hide a body. The human body in here. Yeah, that fixes everything. Oh, great. I'm out. I'm out of ideas. I'm out of ideas. Still smells good. You should just leave one up and change it every stream. TV off the box this instant. No. It's fine. Guys. Guys, let's be clear. The box is temporary. I'm going to get the TV mounted. And when I do, the glare won't be there either. Okay? That means the Undertaker might need to move because he's going to be higher. It's going to get mounted soon. I liked it better before. What? Everything? This is the future you chose. And here, we see local homeless man, Connell. <laughs> I'm has not homeless. his cart of baubles and refused <laughs> to Baubles? A shanty town from which you can hatch his next plan to panhandle for money. I think if you move the monkey back, it would be better. It's taking up too much of the frame. You think so? What do you guys think? You agree? Does the monkey go back? Monkey by the light switch. Okay.
Bad news, Chet. Wait. I was gonna say I have to do this another night, but wait. So the first one that I had had a big uh, had had like a support beam, right? There's a big support beam that I could hang this off of, but there isn't one on here until. Remember this? Chekhov's gun. Wait, are these strong enough though? Can these like hold it, you think? No? Command large utility hooks. How heavy are they? Uh, they hold, um, seven and a half pounds with two. This weighs, uh, could somebody look up how much this weighs? It's not seven pounds. How much is the hanging monkey pendant lamp? My address is not on the command envelope. I looked at it before. Unless you think I live in St. Paul, Minnesota or London, Ontario, Canada. How heavy is this fucking monkey? I can't find it. There it is. Did we really not get the... Get the... We really didn't get the thing? 6.49 pounds. W. All right. We're in there. All right. It looks like this is a different type though. Is there a double here? Or do I just get two? I hope I just use two. This man actually reading instruction for command screen. It's very important to do this right.
Give it a shot. Whatever, I'll figure this out another time. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, wait, no, I gotta do a YouTube outro. Never mind. <laughs> we'll figure this out now. Okay. Alright. I forgot I gotta do a YouTube outro. Cody, why the fuck are your calves so big? Well, I've been saying that. I'm surprised you just now noticed. I feel so happy. I, hey, I'm busy. Coming to a theater near you, Connie will be renovating his room, but he needs help of anyone he could choose. He uses the least likely option. <laughs> he uses Chad a baffling decision because yeah. Chad is awful at decoration. Very fun. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at this place. I'm so happy. This is exactly what I thought my room would look like when I turned 35. Thank you, Twitch chat, and thank you, YouTube viewer, for watching this video. Happy birthday to me! Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye. So long. Bye, chat. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> it's a fun outro. And scene. <laughs>